Welcome to the video tutorial detailing the fine tuning of JetTech Rock. Having completed the installation and calibration of JetTech Rock, all that remains is that you fine tune the software to match exactly the air and fuel flow characteristics of your engine and carburetor combination. The process is a simple one but needs to be completed methodically. First unlock the system to reveal the adjustment features of JetTech Rock. JetTech Rock has three preset selections either the standard Rock engine, the Super Rock derivative or the Junior Rock. Select the appropriate preset for your particular engine type and complete the fine tuning for this carburetor and engine combination. For the purposes of this tutorial we will leave the rock select. First locate your temperature and humidity sensor 6 inches above ground level in the shade. This is to replicate the temperature and humidity of the air that enters your engine and you must always place your sensor unit in this location. Having done this read from your barometer unit the current weather conditions and enter them here. Now for a moment let's ignore the needle setting in this case clip P3 and concentrate on the main jet selection. Here is the control that you use to adjust the main jet jetting factor. Currently the jetting factor as you can see is set at 564. Were you to dial down to a weaker setting you can see at 548 the main jet selected by the software would be a 158. Let's return to the 160. Having entered the current weather conditions at your track location, first remove the float ball from your carburetor and measure the actual carburetor float height for your particular carburetor. Standard float height setting for all Del Auto carburetors is 6 millimeters. You may prefer 3 millimeters, which would normally be my selection for flow tight or maintain the standard of 6. It really depends on your individual requirement as a reduction in flow tight would mean that the whole of the jetting across the range would be richer. Correspondingly, an increase in flow tight would weaken the jetting across the entire range. Flow tight being an important tuning consideration. In the first instance measure your actual flow tight using the methods shown here and enter the actual flow tight into the software. Select the float weights you are using at the time and let's assume it is the standard setting for the rock of 4 gram floats. Similarly select the needle jet needle you are using and the number of clips you wish the software to utilize and let's leave 4 selected in this case. Now having entered the weather and entered the parameters into the software including float weight, height, needle selection and needle jet selection then in this case with these weather conditions you can see the software recommends a main jet of 160. Install the 160 main jet in your carburetor and go out and complete a track session of around 10 laps at racing speed. Following completion of this track session Return to your pit area, remove the spark plug and inspect the piston crown 
the spark plug itself and your exhaust header for colour. Determine from these observations and the performance of your cart out on the track whether your main jet selection for these weather conditions is rich or weak. Whichever the case may be, dial your jetting factor to either one jet richer or one jet weaker. Let's make the assumption in this case and for these weather conditions that you need to select one jet richer. So dial up to the next jet, in this case a 162. Install the 162 jet and go out and complete another track set. Again return to the pits, inspect your piston crown, spark plug and exhaust header for colour and determine using this methodology the optimum jet for your particular engine and carburetor combination and these weather conditions. Using this simple methodical process you will arrive at the ideal jetting factor for your particular combination.